Welcome back to the No Bullshit Guide to Java Spring Boot, Part 6. Today we cover JDBC, JPA, Hibernate, and Spring Data. This is a discussion-only video on the layers of abstraction, no coding. Spring Boot has an entire stack of abstraction. Let's start at the bottom with the database. The database is SQL and we can interact with it directly using SQL queries like we do in MySQL Workbench. One layer up is the JDBC or the Java Database Connectivity. This connects our Java code to MySQL database. If you remember in the first video, we set up this connection in application.properties. Datasource.url is equal to JDBC. And then our driver is a JDBC driver. This acts as our physical connection between Java and SQL. We're going to skip Hibernate for one second and instead talk about JPA. JPA stands for the Java Persistence API. This is basically a bunch of rules that have to be followed to connect Java to the SQL database. My analogy is the government making a list of rules that you have to follow when you build a house. Hibernate is an ORM, or Object Relational Mapper. Hibernate implements all of the rules made by JPA. It maps Java objects to relationships in the database. There are other ORMs besides Hibernate, like OpenJPA or MyBattis. They work basically the same way. Hibernate is the default Spring Boot ORM, which is why we're using it. And the analogy here is Hibernate is the company that builds houses, and they follow the laws of the government. And at the top, we have Spring Data JPA, which we just covered in the previous video. This is a high level of abstraction that lets you write plain English, and then Spring does all of the conversion with the ORM to automatically generate the SQL query for you. You don't have to be an expert on this stack, but you should know the terminology used when referencing it. Okay, that's it for this short video. Please like and subscribe.